So I've been super annoyed. I've, I've been sick, obviously, and I've been doing a lot of necessary research and reading or whatever on convex. And while the documentation is very nice, I couldn't find anything that just could map my understanding of the create, read, update, destroy world into the world of convex. Now, obviously, it's not their job to, to bring the documentation to me, but I figured since I had a hard enough time trying to figure out all the ins and outs of it, I would just make a quick video, show you how to do it in case you were struggling with the same thing. And now that I know how to do these kind of operations, the ones I'm familiar with, I could pretty easily adapt it to the rest of the, the, the world. All right, let's get into it. The workspace that we're in today is just based on the Node.js quick start guide where you install everything and set up a tasks file and a script to run your queries and mutations from. It's all set up though because that shit's boring. Here we have convex dev server running and this one's the output of this script file just on watch. So the first thing I want is a mutation so we can start uh, creating some tasks here. So we'll export a mutation named create. For args, we'll actually import the schema from our schema file, which has text and status, optional, and create some reusable fields for that, which we'll then use. Next, we set up a handler, async function, takes context and args, and inserts a task for us. Pretty easy. Now, in our watch script, we can use our client to run mutation using API tasks create, and we'll give it some stuff. Now, this suggestion doesn't match our schema. We'll use status incomplete. And there we have our first task inside of convex looks right to me. So let's take our new task ID and do a read. Read requires that we import the query constructor, export a read query. Args for this are ID and we use the value ID of tasks. Now for V, we'll have to import this from convex values. Handler has that same uh, signature with context and args. And this time we'll do a db get uh, using that args ID. So on the client side, we do a client query with API tasks read, passing in our ID. All arguments uh, need to be sent in as an object. And then because this is a promise, uh, we're just gonna console.log the output of that. Now we have in our application, the task by that ID. Now destroy will be just like it, except it will be a mutation and we'll call destroy, but the ID object's gonna be the same. So let's implement that. Export a destroy mutation, like read, it'll take an ID as args and handler will call this context db delete using that args ID. We get null as a response and our task is deleted. All right, we'll need to create a new task so we have something to update. We do create, read, and destroy. The only one left is update. And actually all, oh, what the hell? So update is still a mutation. So let's keep that in place here. Call this update. We'll leave the text unchanged. So change the status to complete. Now there isn't exactly an update method, so we have to get a little bit creative. We'll pass in an ID for update, which is the second one. And to give it a whole task object, we'll put it inside of an object called patch. Very similar to destroy, we create a new mutation. Args are our ID and our patch object. So we just wrap our schema, which I think we had a variable for, so let's call this task fields, inside of an object. And then we can write our handler to call patch on the args ID using the arg pa args patch object. Now there are two methods we can use patch and replace. I'm not sure that I would ever use replace. Replace will put nulls in any of the um, kind of unprovided fields. So that seems like not something that I ever want to do. Now when we run this, we do get an error uh, somewhere in here. I know it's all kind of big, but the saying that the text is required and we're obviously not passing it in in our patch. Uh, we can use a helper function here called partial, which is part of the, I, I guess, like extended library maybe um, from convex. You have to NPM install this separately. Convex helpers validators pull in partial. That allows us to partially update our record here with just the values provided. And if we look over here, yes, update is now completed. Of course, it is helpful to see all of these. So if you're totally new to this, we'll do api.tasks.all. And yeah, console log those out. Now we're not going to save it yet because we don't have it implemented. Let's implement it at the bottom. Exporting a new query, all the handler uh, just runs a query on tasks and calls collect on it. We'll save and see all of our tasks in a list. Okay, so that's it. Create, read, update, destroy, and
and all inside of convex. I know this is totally riveting stuff, but I don't know. I had to spend time learning it. I thought maybe I could save you a couple hours trying to figure out all those nuances there. Now, hilariously enough, as I was recording this, uh, I saw a tweet where they uh, do the same thing. So maybe I'm I'm not so off base that uh, you know people are interested in wanting to know how to do this. Get a, get a little bridge between what they know and uh, this new convict shit. All right, that's really it for me. Hope you're having fun. Bye.